As you recall in the previous training video, we exported the TIMS contacts table up to the SharePoint server. Now I have a new database here, or the integration database, and I want to import it from the SharePoint server into my local database here. So to do that, I'm going to come up here, click on the external tab, go to the import group, and click on the SharePoint list button. Of course, you want to put in your address or URL to the SharePoint site, and then select, I want to import the source data into a new table in this current database, and click Next. Go ahead and type in your password. Hit the tab key, hit the space bar to check, remember my password, and then hit enter on the keyboard. Give it a couple of seconds while it tries to pull up the data list. Now from the data list, I have Tim's contacts. I also have the autumn sales, which is another table that I uploaded or exported to the SharePoint server earlier. I want to download or import Tim's contacts. Check the box, click OK. Give it a second or two. You can save the steps. So I'm going to just click close. And there's Tim's contacts. Double click to open it up. Fantastic. Make any changes. And then again, if I make changes and I want to go ahead and upload this, because it's already on the SharePoint server, Tim's contacts, when I come up here to the export group and click on SharePoint list, I'll show you real quick. Basically, not changing the name, click OK. I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. Hit the tab key, hit the space bar, and hit enter. And there we go. Pops open. It's now Tim's Contacts 1. Because remember, we already exported it up to the SharePoint as Tim's Contacts. So because it already has the name, it's going to add the dash and then the 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so on. So if I go back to my list here, there's Tim Contacts, the one that we uploaded earlier about 28 minutes ago. And then there's Tim Contacts 1. And then, of course, if everybody else uploaded with the same name, it'll add a 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so on. Go ahead and close out of here. Close out of my export steps. And then you'll notice that when you do export or import, sometimes you'll get some tables uh, that will give you issues that SharePoint had with importing or exporting. Let me double click and open this up. It says that here's some issues that it had with exporting Tim's contacts up to the SharePoint server. You can click and drag. Field values will not be auto generated. Default value property will not be moved. Field will not be moved. Certain fields like binary fields and read-only fields cannot be migrated, things like that. In other words, instead of generating a report with all this information, it dumped it into a table of any issues that it had. Okay. If you're okay with that, go ahead and close out. And then, of course, you can delete the table and get rid of those issues. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.